Hello, everyone. Happy Sabbath to you and your beautiful families. The title of today's children's story is Bear and the Porcupine. Bear is the name of a big furry dog. He is called Bear because he has a head that looks something like a bear's head and a very thick neck like a bear has. He is black all over except for his paws which are white. Bear could hunt quite well in the woods too. None of the small animals were safe once he decided to track them down. Huh, that is, not until he met Mr. Porcupine. Bear's strength, his fierce growl, and his great hunting ability didn't help him one bit when he met the porcupine. His first encounter with the porcupine was perhaps the most unpleasant. Without the help of his owner and the vet, Bear would have died. Since Bear had never seen a porcupine before, you can probably guess how he went after it. The wrong way. He pounced on the porcupine and tried to bite him. The porcupine arched its back so that its quills, which come out easily, stuck not only into Bear's nose, cheeks, chin, and paws, they also stuck inside his mouth and even in his throat. Poor Bear. When his owner arrived home, he found Bear whimpering in agony and about as sick as any dog could be. His owner got a pair of pliers and pulled out as many quills as he could, but the ones in Bear's throat had to be removed by the vet. The poor dog was in pain for at least another week and had to take medicine so the quill punctures wouldn't get infected. What do you think Bear did the next time he saw a porcupine? Can you guess? You wouldn't believe it. He went right after it again. He didn't attack quite as forcefully as he did the first time, but he still had to go to the animal hospital to have more quills removed and have more medicine. Guess what, boys and girls? This happened six times before he learned to leave porcupines alone. Doesn't that sound silly? Hmm, perhaps, but you know what? We are a lot like Bear. Think about it. We think we are strong and able and a match for sin and the devil. But just as Bear didn't learn the first time, we don't always learn our lesson right away either, even after we get stung by sin. Bear would have died if his owner had not come to his rescue. You and I would die in our sins if the Savior Jesus Christ had not come to rescue us. The Bible says that the sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law. You can find this in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 56. And it also says in Romans 3, verse 23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You see, the devil has fiery darts that he throws at us, almost like those quills from the porcupine. And we certainly are no match for sin or the devil without Jesus in our lives. Jesus can save us from the awful results of sin. The Lord Jesus died and shed his blood to wash away all our sins. In 1 John chapter 1, verse 7, it says, But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanseth us from all sin. And in Romans 6, verse 23, it says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Won't you accept Jesus as your Savior today, my friends? Trusting Him gives us a shield to protect us from those fiery darts. 
the Bible says, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Ephesians 6 verse 16. Won't you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved? I know you can. Bear learn the hard way. Let us turn to Jesus today and he will protect us from the fiery darts of this world. I hope you enjoyed today's children's story. Have a blessed Sabbath. Bye.